with that. Really appreciate it. The fact that you've given something when you're unemployed is just makes it all the more invaluable. Thank you very, very much. Morning, driver. You're in charge of an all-stop service to Gospel Oak. Oh, Ian Morris, well done on reaching a thousand. Here's some towards the rest. Thank you very much, Ian Morris. You don't watch me as stuff my face. No, it's not that kind of stream. <laughs> Uh, morning driver, you're in charge of an all-stop service to Gospel Oak. The lines this morning are fairly busy. This means delays en route to Gospel Oak are possible. You're due into barking around now, so let's get cracking. limit here it's fast Cameron's Gaming says if you make it to a new, uh, it rolled off the screen, hang on. If we make it to 1100 within the next uh, 15 minutes, you'll have brown sauce, which he's never tried, in a bacon and egg roll instead of ketchup. And he'll film himself eating it and post a video here. so I can hear the alarm, shall I? Looks like we've got a red light up here. Yeah, it's a nice intro that white white made there. Very nicely done. The book departure time is 0706 when you arrive into Barking and you swap cabs and prepare your cab once you're all ready to go. 
Why not open your side door and go for a wonder? Get the headlights on. <clears throat> Gonna show you the whole map. This is the whole map. We're at Barking, which is uh, here. And we are going to Gospel Oak, which is there. And I'm guessing we're going to be taking that route over, route over there. You yeah, already think of my uh, my cab view here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still munching away. Uh, Tommy's Ace, what you're doing is a great thing, GG's for that. They only give a kit to watch you and catch up when you're at work in the week. Today your wife and kids are out so you can see live. You won in the giveaways, which is a bonus. Nice one, thank you very much indeed, Tommy. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Track to hype. Tractory. You can do English good. Mm, jalapeno. <clears throat> Johnny Castle, thank you very much for the donation. Much appreciated. Um, what am I having for lunch? It's basically my wife bought a bunch of little like finger food things. So um, I can't even remember what they're called. They're like a little little ch chicken thing and um, oh god, what what are the little? Um, I can't remember. What they're, I, I know what they're called, but they, they just can't think of the name. Uh, that you get them with Chinese food. Uh, Chris, looking forward to watching Cameron's Gaming eating the bacon, egg, and sausage in sauce roll. 1100? <laughs> oh! 
Nice one, Chris. Brilliant. We're at 1110 now. 1110. It seems we've now got the signal to depart parking. Your next step is Woodgrange, but the bad news is you'll be following a delayed service. We did open the driver door, make sure it's shut fully. Yeah, it gets a little bit finicky if you don't shut absolutely fully. Egg roll. Egg rolls is probably the closest thing to it, yeah. The little tiny things. Let me just turn the camera on a minute. These things. But egg rolls, I think, is it? Spring roll! That's what I was trying to think of. No, they have meat, they're pancake rolls. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Got a little bit of a problem at the moment. There's no script for this side of the unit for some reason. Greasy finger marks on the equipment now. Mm Red light up ahead. <clears throat> Down to twelve. Something feels wrong about that. I I caught hacks. Stop overtaking. Oh, that's the delayed service. Energetic Shadow, thank you for the host, and welcome to Energetic Shadow's view, um, hope, viewers. <clears throat> yeah, that was nicely timed.
<coughs> turned out to be a typo, had absolutely no consequence in 17 and earlier. Awesome! <coughs> Very confused about why it would be different though, but as long as you figured it out. <coughs> right, let's get into Woodgrange Park. Then I'm going to see if I can set the Sloco script up so that I've got access to the brakes. It feels like I need brakes. <clears throat> ah, it's me! Yeah, thanks, Remco. If you can outline what you did, <clears throat> I can talk to the people who did work on TS18 and see if they've got any thoughts as about why it would be well behaving differently, at least. Just in case it affects anything else. You didn't see me put that in emergency brakes. Shh. It didn't happen. <clears throat> right. So, I need to open... I'm just fixing the script because I can't use the brakes on the rail driver at the moment. <clears throat> Golden line. Sure enough, I'm using the one loco that's showing up with no script. Oh, nice! If I would stop pressing the wrong button, I'd be. This job would be go so much quicker. Right. Shut down the rail driver, bring it back up again. custom script loaded now. Yep, and we've got brake access. Yay! Doors are closing. Your next stop is Leightonstone High Road. Ah, it's used to be one of my local stations. Yellow light. So at 1,110 pounds, we are slowly working our way towards, well, we're quite quickly working our way towards 2,000. So, uh, keep the donations coming in, folks. Remember, it's all for a great cause. And even tiny, tiny amounts, even whether it's a pound, five pound, 10 pound, it all goes to a great cause and it all helps. There's no such thing as too little. Or too much. Just saying. <clears throat> yeah, come on, cameras game and get your HP source out. Chris stepped up.
No worries at all, friend. It's all with Anakin. <coughs> Get out of emergency. Wish you could. I need to come up with a way, or someone needs to come up with a way that we can put some fake notches on the rail, rail driver, because it's just too easy to um, throw the thing into emergency on a combined handle train. to go and get some. You're right, mate. I'll throw a kick on the floor. Oh, yeah. Oh, Karen's gaming. You have a bacon sandwich with brown sauce. GG. That was an empty mug, it wasn't so bad. <coughs> no worries, Wolf Horse. Oh. I haven't had a can of Iron Brew in so long. Iron Brew rocks. Right, that's Wanstead Park Station. So Wanstead Park Station, I can show you where I used to live actually. So this is Wanstead Park Station. There's the High Street. There's Leightonstone High Street. We wander down here, wander down here. And we come round here. This is Leightonstone. No it isn't. What? Confused. Okay, I'm confused. <clears throat> do, do, do. There should be two towers somewhere around here. Is that supposed to be the two towers? I can get to it from Forest Gate. <clears throat> Sorry, from Leightonston High Road. Because that's near Forest Gate. I used to drive the route 330 down here. Is that a bus? Welcome back, B. Harrison. At this point, I also just want to have a big shout out to the moderators who are doing an amazing job as always, but it's under uh, obviously much busier circumstances at the moment. So big shout out and a big thank you to the moderators for uh, stepping up and doing a tremendous job today. Without without the moderators, this would be um, next to impossible. Thank you, Gord Helmrich, for your cheer. We're, uh, we're ahead of schedule, so it doesn't hurt to come in easier. <clears throat> Bit too easy, though. Uh, 
And Chris, yeah, you've been doing a good job as well, helping out. Thank you. Right, so this is Leightonstone High Road. So Forest Gate Station is just around here. Forest Gate on the Great Western Main Line. Sorry, Great Eastern Main Line. That's the A12. So where am I thinking then? I can't find Forest Gate stuff completely. It's been obviously been too long since I've been here. <clears throat> this is no good. <coughs> That's the central line. Forest Gate Station is like really close to here though. Hmm. Can we have a spoiler? What do you think? Right, anyway, move on. Obviously completely lost my bearings. I'm not sure what you mean when you say it's sideways. The video is rotated sideways. But what do you think about what do you think about brown sauce? Has it revolutionized how you think about bacon sandwich? Cheers, Chris. If the bits will ever update. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> Let's just re resend those bits, Chris. That's better. You're not a convert. What? You should have another one then. Until until you've uh, until you're a convert. Because if you're not a convert, it means you haven't done it right. Good Henrik, thanks again. Oh, ugly duckling hype. I don't agree with that description. I think they look awesome. Plus seventies are nice. Where are we now anyway? Leighton. Can't remember much about Leighton. Still at Hectic Tea.
Right, we're off. Got a yellow light. Walthamstow, Queen's Road. Oh yeah, the last time I was looking at um, North London Line and Goblin Line, I was able to pick out um, all the places um, that I remembered. I mean, I've been failing miserably today, but the last time I did, I was picked out, and my house is, my old house is actually in the game. <coughs> or at least, you know, a generic representation of it. Which, considering Harrow Road is quite a distance from the railway, is quite amazing, actually. No, I, I think that North London and Goblin are a tremendous um, route pair. No, we're not going to be on the front page the whole time, uh, Calspec. I think we'll be on and off. Junction, your your current house is in North West Coastal. Nice. I remember we were at uh, Seven Valley Run one year with uh, when I was with UK Train Sim doing stuff, um, and um, we were running the um, Blue Arrow Seven Valley Railway, and uh, driving along out of Kidderminster, and there was a guy who sat down uh, watching the uh, watching us. Suddenly stood up and said, "That's my house." The charity route that I ran once was um, Phil Tears Nestle and Loft. Very, very good route. <coughs> Why does that keep putting it into emergency? Stop doing that. You may have put too much on, the more you're eating, the more you're disliking. Oh dear. <laughs> Did Steve get an email about anyone snapping the advert at uh, Chester Station? Uh, I'm not aware. I haven't heard anything anyway. Uh, how long is left on this one? Well, if it runs according to plan, we're due to finish it by two o'clock. And start um, Ed's Salter Swap scenario on North West Coast at about ten past two. Uh, yes, you can still get Nestle and Loft through UKTS, I think. Is that a shed? It's a shed. Busy, busy day on the line today. Shashenka shed. Would you play a scenario on Nestle and Loft on a normal stream? Uh, yeah, normally I have done in the past, um, Stephen Jam. Again, Nestle and Loft, because it was a charity thing, was uh, ex exception accepted from the rules. Oh, we got yellow up there. Driving mode is the B key switch is between legacy and realistic mode. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Black Horse Road. I went to Walthamstow when I was when I ended up getting the house in um, Leytonstone. I also looked at there was a house just north of Bl uh, Black Horse Road Station that uh, we looked at. Just tiny little thing. It was four of the tiniest bedrooms you can imagine. Oh, lock, yeah, nest and lock. Hey, Joe. Can spaces cause wagon drop-offs to fail in the sun? I haven't. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, in the consist list, you mean? Shouldn't do. Hey, Victor. In fact, I think it was up here somewhere. Up there somewhere, I think, this house we looked at. If I remembers correctly. That's just reservoirs, um, Rob. There's a lot of reservoirs. If you go and have a look at Walthamstow, you can see they've made lots of um, reservoirs up here. Seen more scenario trains in snow than the route in the past two years. Well, you know what? This is where I say that um, the gameplay side of it is more important than the realism side of it. As long as they're appropriate trains, there's nothing wrong with seeing many of them. Advance warning of drop to 20, and unless anything is no different, we have to assume the next signal is red, so I should have used DRA on that stop, but you didn't notice either. <laughs> oh, you were kidding about the fact the line keeps getting closed, oh, okay. All right, we see yellow, we're good. No, I, that, that missed. On, I always missed on that. Didn't realise it kept getting closed. Hey there, Katie. I don't know what the station is for Gospel Oak. I don't know this route. I don't know the, the railway line of this route very well because I didn't ride it very much. The trigger man, Victor. Yes, you're the trigger man. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you've only missed me fail most every scenario we've done so far today, Katie. Nothing too bad. I have a floppy right here. It's being, it's being oppressed. No, it's just floppy. <clears throat> Big year of closure. Opened it. The electric's meant to be up. Only for them not to be and had to close it again a few months back. Don't think it's open here. Oh, wow. Didn't even realise that. Upper Holloway is the one, is the penultimate station, Carspec. Transport guide, my, my normal plan with the giveaways is to make sure they're all gone by the end of Sunday. <clears throat> what do you mean I'm only looking huggable today, Katie? I'm supposed to be unhuggable all the time. Those red lights aren't mine. Stop panicking. Stop panicking. See that, Chris? Perish the thought. <laughs> Give me an energy once more. <laughs> Can someone type the response to Transport Guide's question? We're running a little bit ahead of schedule here, never mind. I don't mind. <laughs> Shall I take a screenshot here, or would that be offensive? Oh, I'd also always restart before any of your scenarios, Ed. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> How many hours do I play this a day? Too many. Um, I mean, I stream for six hours a day normally, every day. I'm taking your donation back. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, I do. I, but the thing, I work for the company that makes it as well, um, Adam. So, <clears throat> admittedly, I don't play this one very much at work. I play the next one because that's what I'm doing. So we're still sitting at 1,110, folks. Roll up, roll up, step up. Let's have some more donations. Let's get that move, number moving again. Done an awesome job to get this far. Let's not let's not rest. It's all for the kids. <clears throat> I hear something rolling as well, Rob. Here he comes. Matey Black, you tried this game the other night. Oh, we just started getting into TS. We just started looking at it. I love how that just came out of that siding like that. That was really nicely done.
Harrogate Green Lanes. <coughs> I'm, I, I won't make a recommendation, Adam, because I, I work for the company that makes the game, so probably and my recommendation is it shouldn't be uh, listened to anyway. Um, I will say that I played the game for a long time before working at the company and I worked there because I like playing the game but I let everybody else uh, feed onto that Is this a ping? A ping? Is this now on Steam Workshop? It is. It is called Gospel Oak Stopper by Whitemead. My recommendations don't really come by us, but you can't guarantee that, so that's why I caveat it. I'm not I'm genuinely not gonna recommend something I don't believe in, but you can't trust that. So it's safer for me to just say, ignore me. But these train panels, so these things are actually flight SciTech flight instrument panels. Um, and but they don't work with the game normally. I've written my own software to make them work. <clears throat> but we're here because we like the game. Draw your own conclusions. There you go, Glenn. I got absolutely. Uh, Cameras Gaming has put his video up. <clears throat> Simon Shepard, looking good, Matt. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much indeed, Simon. Still nicely ahead of schedule, so I'm not worried about stopping time. <clears throat> Adrian the pirate, keep going and collect money for the kids. Thank you very much, Adrian. Did I get rail driver working with all the locos? It works with, like I said, I've got scripts for about two and a half thousand now. But that's not all of them. It's most of them, though. I haven't tested them all, but... <clears throat> uh, where's the scripts? So I've got scripts for quite a lot of uh, 
quite a lot of locos. Hey, Pebby. Just see you later, Bolas. What's popping? I don't know. We're raising money for children in need. That's what's doing. That's what we're doing. Doing a grand job so far. You get that? A grand? No. Oh well. I wonder if it was a forced rollback, Chippy Arnold, because I know some people are complaining that the latest driver was causing them some. Um, Problem with um, uh, quite a big problem with performance. So OBS, I think like we've noticed that OBS is using a lot more CPU now than it used to. Oh, I see. You were actually on an older driver. I got you. Have I got a mug collection brewing? Yeah, I have a bit. One of them is my coffee from this morning, and the other one is the ongoing consumption of tea. Crouch Hill. See you in a bit, Chippy. Oh, what we got coming? Another shed? Nope, 70. <clears throat> well, that's the problem I have quite a lot with kettles, Katie. Not only that, you know, you, a kettle that boils one, one mug of water, <clears throat> it's, it's difficult. Um, you, so you always end up boiling too much water. Whereas this thing is no different. <clears throat> so are you using the tea pods or are you using, um, are you just getting it to kick out water? That's Crouch Hill, Upper Holloway and Gospel Oak due in, in about eight minutes. Which is almost exactly on schedule. It was cheaper than getting a butler. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Reboiling kettles, Amarillan. Oh my word. I hate drinking water that's been reboiled. Thank you. 
Yeah, they're good little machines, Tasmos and the... Uh... What's going on with the game? Oh, we are moving. It looked like it was frozen. <laughs> you hate not, ha not having team on... Okay, yeah, okay, I see where you're coming from. Coming up on Upper Holloway. James, how long have we been going? The uptime is up there. It's 4 hours 53 minutes. You've got a proper commercial coffee machine at work. Nice. <clears throat> so we'll be calling you barista from now on then. Oh yeah, I'll do a quick run through of the prize list before we do the next while we do the next giveaway. Good shout, Kaspik. Mold Junction, yes, you have a coffee machine at home, the wife. Oh, a newly married then, I guess, Mold Junction. Real Dogger, best wishes for the stream. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. 13 months. Ten years. <laughs> Uh, Crazy Dan, did your resub come through? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes, it did. See you later, don't forget. Enjoy your gym. The coffee's improved over the 10 years. Nice. Dave, put these words in the correct order. Up, job, give, do not, the, the, uh, do the dot day. <laughs> uh, do you not have a kettle that's like a cappuccino machine? Yeah, that's what the Tassimo does. Also keep up, awesome job. Thank you very much, Dave, and thank you for the donation. Much appreciated. Yeah, I've got Tassimo. This thing. That's what I use for making my tea. Bloomin' lovely it is. Oh, that's better. It's a bit straighter now, isn't it? No, it's sort of we're twisted the other way. That'll do. That's a little bit better, at least. Is it time to go?
Is the laptop your PC? No, the laptop runs the rail driver. So the rail driver is on the laptop over here. The streaming machine is over the other side, and that's got the map and the OBS and everything else on it. The gaming PC sits in the middle, and that runs the game. And then I've just got my, my TS Connect can network all of that stuff together. Yellow, so down for the 20. Uh, Rob Allen, I'm not running the 2205 today. There's not really anything on workshop for it, unfortunately. We would like to do more with the 205, but there's without, without what's in. Um, I was saying there. <laughs> yeah, walking, talking. I've got the lights in the room hooked up to the game. So if you go in, if you uh, go into a tunnel, they turn the turn off. The cab light also turns on another light. Um, and the um, if you open the firebox door on a steam engine, you get all sorts of flashy, flashy lights going on. Oh, a couple of cans going through. Cracking, cracking scenario, White Mead. Really, really good. It's not scored, transport guide, so... You're winning already and we've still got 10 hours to go. Yeah, really. <clears throat> Mind you, what I need to do is just open the door. It's probably just getting a bit warm in here again. Right, we've got an Ed scenario coming up next. Oh, and then a Yan scenario. Oh... 100 minutes of PZB. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Racking job driver, you've now arrived at Gospel Oak. The train will now form the 0805 service back to Barking. Your shift today is complete. Yep, well done. <clears throat> and I kept playing the brakes accidentally. Never mind. Well, I was always on time for every stop. Transport guide. 
only a little bit of speeding, so yeah, I probably would have got a good score. Right, 